CataractCoach.com doesn't matter which IOL injector you use. So can you safely interchange the injectors with other IOLs? Let's watch this case here. So very, very myopic eye. You can see a very large corneal white to white measurement, definitely using those forceps, which are marked off at two and a half and five millimeters from the tip in order to judge the correct rexus size. Now, very important, you just can't follow the pupil dilation because this is a 10 millimeter dilation. The white to white here is about 13 millimeters. So a very large eye, but we know our optic is only going to be what? Six millimeter optic. So we definitely want to have an appropriate size rexus. And let's speed up the video here. Get the nucleus out of the bag. You can see not too dense, some central nuclear sclerosis. And then chop that nucleus in half and emulsify it. Obviously, very deep anterior chamber. This patient has an axial length in excess of 30 millimeters. We'll clean up the cortex here. And then let's show you the lens. I'll load the lens myself. Now, the question is, can you interchange the injector for one six millimeter optic three piece lens that's let's say hydrophobic acrylic with another manufacturer's brands. Now, of course, the manufacturers tell you to use only their injector with their lens, etc. But are they interchangeable here? Let's polish up the capsule and let me show you what we're gonna do here. So polish up the capsule, looks pretty good. Let's get the lens. So here's our lens, and we can see we're gonna place it in the injector there. This is an Alcon injector, it's a B cartridge, be like boy. And so you can see that's easily placed. There's a picture there that shows you the correct orientation. So in case you forget that, you know, the haptic orientation, remember S is stupid, of course. You don't want the S, you want the anti-S. But there we see also a picture of it. There's the lens AR40E. That's made by J&J, &J, formerly an AMO lens. And that's a, again, six millimeter optic as well. But yeah, you're putting the AR40 lens into the Alcon injector. Is that okay? Yes, it's perfectly fine. It works just beautifully. Now, I like this injector because it gives me a lot of control. You can see the tip here. The haptic is turned in one direction. Now, remember, as we place the lens in the eye, we've got to get the correct orientation. Now, the Cataract Coach Podcast is the top podcast in all of ophthalmology with the sole purpose of making you more successful. That's your New Year's resolution. Let's make it happen. Check out that podcast. Now, here comes our lens. Going to deliver the lens. Now, where's the haptic forming now? The haptic is going to the wrong direction. Remember, 7L rule? Leading haptic better look like a number seven. So look, I'll turn the injector tip. Now delivered. See the number seven? There's the 7L rule. There's the seven coming out. Looks really good. Optic going in the bag here. Very nice. And we can dial it in the bag and call it done. There's the, the, the trailing haptic. Get that delivered very easily. Look how thick the lens is. Why is the lens so thick if the eye power is four? Right? Shouldn't be thinner? That looks thicker than a 20 diopter lens. Well, remember, meniscus design. It's not your typical biconvex lens here. This is a lens that is a meniscus design. If you don't know what that is, the onus is on you to be a better surgeon and be better informed. You go to cataractcoach.com, the website, not just YouTube, and you type in the word in the search engine, meniscus. I promise you'll learn, and you'll be thankful you did. Now, here at the end of the case, look at that. Beautiful overlap of the optic by the rexus. Aren't you glad we measured it now? Looks pretty good here. Keep that lens nicely centered. Taking our little viscoelastic. I want to call this a day and finish up this case. But yes, there is a lot of very tight intellectual property around eyewall injectors, believe it or not. That's why one company can't copy another company's design. There's a lot of IP there. And so you sometimes have to use your own judgment as a surgeon and you do what you think is best, including if it's using one injector for a different type of IOL that maybe it wasn't actually specified for. That's okay. And you can see in the video here, it works perfectly fine. So again, this is your priority and your judgment as a surgeon. You do what you think is best in your hands and in your situation and for your patient. And I promise you, this patient had a beautiful outcome. And you know, we didn't aim for that plano outcome. We aimed for just a little bit of myopia to make this patient happy. Beautiful case. Again, thank you for watching. And remember to check out that podcast, top podcast in all of ophthalmology.